here. So I am back this time with a quick and simple DIY. So like most of you, I am, I've already started the process of decorating my tree. I'm sure a lot of you are already done and I'm a little behind, but you know what? I'll catch up this weekend. But yeah, so I've already started the process of decorating my tree and then I'm going to start decorating different areas in my home. So I wanted to jump on really quick and show you guys a quick and simple DIY. So as you can see, the DIY is going to be on this tree collar. So I purchased this tree collar, I'll say about three, four years ago from Walmart, 75% um, off. And when I purchased it, they only had red. So I bought two of them because I knew in the back of my mind, I wanted to change one of them anyway, the color of one of them. So what I want to do in this DIY, I want to show you how you can change the look of this tree collar without altering it permanently. All right. So a simple, easy method, and it'll give you a big bang for your buck. All right, guys, let's get started. All right. So before we jump in, don't forget to hit that button, comment, like, and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos. All right, so the supplies you're gonna need, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, you're gonna need some contact paper, you can pick any contact paper of your liking, of your choosing, and then also make sure you wipe off your tree collar. Uh, mine had a bunch of snow from my tree on it, so I went ahead and I wiped that off. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I already started um, sticking the wallpaper onto the tree collar. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut it lengthwise. Let me push that back so make sure you can see it. You're gonna cut it lengthwise and then you're gonna make sure you cut enough just so you can adhere it to the back, the top back and the bottom back. And then you just smooth it out to make sure that it sticks. So I'm gonna do another piece on camera. I already cut my pieces the same time. And I suggest that you just cut um, pieces about four to five inches. You don't want to cut them um, too big. I mean, too big, too small. If you cut them too big, then you're going to run into the issue when you hit these curves from the collar. You're going to run into the issue where it's going to be hard to, to smooth it out. You're going to get a lot of air bubbles. So you want to keep it to about three to four inches each piece, okay? All right, so let me push this back so you can see. All right, so I'm gonna do a, a piece on camera. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Just remove the sticky back. And make sure you have them all going the same direction. You don't necessarily, well, at least this contact paper, you don't necessarily have to have the same pieces. Um, that's what makes this unique. You can just, you know, I find with this pattern, you can, it doesn't necessarily have to match up perfectly. I'll turn it this way. I think I'm gonna put it on this way. All right, so you're gonna, You want to overlap just slightly the other piece where the other piece started, ended. Oh, hold on. And see, I'm already running to that issue where I was telling you guys, you see how because of the curve right here, it's hard to get the full contact paper on there. So what you, I'll show you what you need to do. So I'm going to put that over the top. Put that on the scene. Just make sure you smooth it out. And then you're gonna tuck it to make sure it sticks. And if you get any lumps, you can just pull it off. If you can't smooth them out, just pull it off and reapply. Just that simple. And try to smooth it out as possible. Smooth as possible. Okay, there's that. All right, now, 
See how I couldn't, because of the curve of the um, collar, I couldn't get that piece. So this is what I've been doing. Let me find a small piece. So I take little pieces like so, and then I just cut it, and then I adhere it up there at the top. And these pieces don't have to be that big. You just need enough to cover that angle. Let me put it about right. All right, let's give it a go. And that was the hardest part that like I found when I'm doing this. That was the most challenging part, trying to make sure that I cover the collar because of the angles. That part kind of drove me nuts a little, <laughs> just a little bit. All right. See right there? And if you smooth it in good enough, you won't even be able to see that seam. See that? The seam practice practically disappears. Then you gotta just tuck it away. I'm trying to smooth out my little wrinkles I got in there. I got a few because of the curve, but they're easy to smooth out. So, okay, there it is. Look at that. And you can barely see that seam. I laid a piece right in there and you really can't tell where I laid it, especially with it being on the floor under the tree. You're really not going to be able to be able to tell. So, all right, I'll do one more piece on camera. And then we'll move on. And then I'll come back. I'll do the finish it up off camera. I'm getting some bubbles. Hold on one second. I just noticed some wrinkles right there. Right in there. It's because of that ink. Oh, I kind of broke it. That's all right. Maybe that's a good thing. And see how I tore it right there? It won't matter because I'm going to lay another piece over this. So when I lay the other piece, it'll cover that up. So I'm not even worried about that. Okay. There we go. Got the wrinkles out. All right. Here's my next piece. I think the hardest part is trying to peel off this darn backing on this contact paper for me. <laughs> that seems like the hardest part. All right. So you're going to take your next piece and then you are going to, and see, I couldn't, this piece will not cover the top. So I have little two inch strips and I'll use that to see, to cover that tear right there. So I'm not going to even worry about it. I just want to make sure that it is lined up for me to move on to the next one. All right, so I am going to angle this because, hold on, that's the hard part. And then it's on camera too, so it's hard to, all right, hold on. Is that enough to tuck under? That might be just enough. I may bring it down just a little bit. So you have to do a lot of trial and error to make sure you get it right. All right, I would say, Probably about right there should do it for me. Right.
I think I like this idea better than spray paint because spray paint is so permanent. You know, even though you can spray paint it back, it's just so permanent. I'd rather just lay contact paper over it and keep it moving, you know? And don't forget to tuck your edges underneath, like so. Go. All right, I still got a couple bubbles and trying to smooth those out. All right, so I just laid this piece right here to cover up that, that little gap that I had. So I'm gonna just smooth this down. Hold on. Just wrap it over the back. Like so. Okay, and you can't even tell that I barely, you can barely tell that I added a piece. That, that's what I love about that. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up off camera and then I'll be back and then I'll show you guys the final reveal. All right, y'all, and here it is, the final reveal. Look how beautiful that turned out. Look at this. All right, so I am going to go put it around the tree so you can see how just how gorgeous this thing is. And you see, I still have a couple of lumps. I'm going to smooth those out as well because it's going to drive me nuts. But once I smooth those out, it's still gorgeous. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all. There she is. Look how beautiful this is. I am like in awe. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. I am so in love with this. So I know you guys can see the red in the background. So I have a, a solution for that. So you won't even see that red from the inside part of the collar. So I'll have that taken care of as well. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for that part of the collar. And then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, there she is. Here is the final result of my tree collar that I remade over using contact paper. What I did is I put snow. I had bags of um, blanket snow that I've had for several years. So what I did is I filled the inside of the tree collar with the blanket snow. And then what I did is I put lights underneath the snow. So that's why it's given that illuminescent looking um, effect with the snow and the collar. So I think it's gorgeous. What do you think? Also, I have to clean up my floor, so don't even look at my floor, the floor in front of it. It has like glitter and just stuff from all the snow. So I'll clean that up shortly, but I want you to see the end result. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and look how beautiful it is. I turned off the light so you can see it, it see it in all its glory. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this simple DIY. I would love to hear if you're going to try it as well. If you have time, if you have the supplies, if not, maybe next year. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next one and stay tuned. I'll be posting my tree. Once it's done, I should be done this weekend. So hopefully I'll get that video up to you guys shortly. All right. See y'all in the next one. Take care. Bye.